On the onset of this disaster, here rolls in Mercy Chefs. I had never heard of this relief agency before. My thought was, who invited them? Why are they here? Why are they on our parking lot? Not in a critical, judgmental way, just what's going on? I got over that in a millisecond because I met Chef John and I met his crew. So these people, Mercy Chefs, are Big K Kingdom people. And there's a big difference between Big K Kingdom people and Little K Kingdom people. Would y'all like a steak dinner? All righty. It's, it's really good. It smokes. <laughs> and it's got uh, utensils in there. And there's what can I say about Mercy Chef except praise? <clears throat> it's the most organized group I've ever been in. And all Christians and loving the Lord and, and feeding people they don't even know. Sending out food into the neighborhoods. And everywhere we would go, they'd say, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And the food is gourmet. We don't eat hot dogs. We're eating steak and brisket and chicken. And it's incredible. And they just bring it out just like it's nothing. Well, it gives you a break because you're down there and you're working in the in the mud and the dirt and the muck and and it's people that we know and we don't know and there's different shifts coming in and we've got breakfast lunch and dinner and not only does it give you a break but it kind of gives you a feeling of camaraderie and you know it, it, we don't live by bread alone but unless there is no bread, and you do get hungry when you work that hard, you need something to drink, you need something to eat, and you need a break where you can kind of lift your spirits and all visit together. And in Texas, you visit over food. I think partnering with Mercy Chefs was one of the greatest things that we could do uh, during this disaster. Here's why. There are some days where we're feeding and distributing 2,300 meals on a single day. A low day for us would be 800 meals. We do not have the capacity, the know-how, or the capability of pulling that off. No way. So they have been lifesavers, not only for the ministry of this church family in helping people, uh, but in the actual feeding of the guys and ladies mucking out homes uh, in a really tough part of Blanco River. So we're very, very grateful.